Hey everyone, so I am doing my June favorites today. I am super excited. I have so many products that I've just been loving this month. Um, so many shows, so many movies, so much everything. So I'm not even going to get into a long introduction. I'm just going to get right into it. First up, I have all my beauty products. And this month I've been loving Essie's um, San Tropez's Nail Polish. This is just a simple taupe color. And I am absolutely in love with it. I saw it on Pinterest, and I saw like a girl like put glitter at the bottom, of her, and it just looks so cute. So I went out and bought it immediately. It's a great neutral tone. I love wearing it for work because I don't like to wear too bright a nail polish, you know, just to make sure it's work appropriate. So that's a great one. And I got that at Target, and it was for like seven fifty. So Target is like the cheapest place I've ever found to buy Etsy. So. Next up, I have my SO or EOS, I don't know what we what it's even pronounced, um, lip balm, and I haven't used much of it, but I just always love the smell of it, and it's a great just, I, I just, I don't know, I, I use it a lot, but you can't really tell, but I do use it a ton, so that's, I just love the smell of it, like I said. Next up, I have three Lush products. Um, I have been running to Lush a bunches, and I showed this to you guys in one of my videos. I'm not sure, but my mint juleps, my sugar scrub for my lips. Now that it's summertime, um, my lips get really, really dry, and they, you know, peel and whatever. So this is absolutely fabulous. I love it. Um, I got this at Lush, and this was um, eight. $8.95, something like that. It was like $9. So a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, you can do like, you can get cheaper lip scrubs, but I love it and it smells like um, mint chocolate. Yeah, chocolate and mint. Oh my god, it smells so, so good. Um, next up I have, this is brand new. And I've been looking, I love, 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 love my macadamia. Don't get me wrong. But I noticed that my hair got so used to it, it wasn't doing anything anymore. So I'm like, let's try to switch up some products. And so I went to Lush.com, and before I even tell about my product, I'm going to do a little segment on how to approach Lush, because I feel like a lot of my friends, like, go in there and they're like, I'm so overwhelmed. I can't deal with this. Um, there's too many smells. The people are pushy. So I think I'm going to do a video on how to, how I approach Lush. But anyway... So I got the Veganese Conditioner, and this is what it looks like. I got the super, super, super small bottle because I just want to try it out. I know they always say, oh, if you, you know, you don't like it, bring it back, but I'm like, I might as well just spend, you know, the least amount of money, and if I don't like it, then I bring it back. Perfect. So this is a conditioner, um, and it says, exceptionally good for limp, fine, or lackluster hair. Um, our vegan conditioner is packed full of more moisturizing seaweed, first calming lavender, and fresh lemon juice for a shine softness. And I'm not kidding, you smell the lemon and it smells so good. I remember I washed my hair with it the first time my boyfriend was like, what the heck, did you like pour lemon in your hair? But no, it it's just, it tastes good. No. Oh, it just smells so good. And you can definitely smell the lavender in it. And the seaweed, not so much. So, if that's, like, kind of caught you off guard, no. And I got this for $9.95. So, I got this at Lush, and this is what the packaging looks like. I really recommend it. I used it this morning, again, and my hair is just super, super soft. And very voluminous, as you can see. <laughs> um, the next item I got, and this I was a little skeptical on buying. Just because I was, like, really... How is that going to work kind of thing. I got the, let's see if I pronounce this right, Jumping Juna for dry shampoo. Or it's like a bar shampoo, I guess. I don't know. This, it smells, it smells like lavender. And, I don't know, it's just a really fresh smell. And I went in there, and I, and I kind of like looked on the website first, and I was like, eh, maybe we'll try this, try this. And I'd gone in there, I started smelling all of them. And I did not like any of the smells. I'm sorry, I just hit my table. That's where my camera moved. I didn't like any of the smells. Hated them. The one that I wanted, it was called New. It smelled like, like burnt hair. It, it was just not a very attractive smell. Now, for all of you watching this, and if you go in there and you try it, you might love it. 
but for me personally I did not like it. This is the best smelling one and it like literally all I do is I go like this and my hands are full of suds goes great on in my hair. The lady at Lush said this will last me four months. That's the whole part I was like, no way. This little bar is going to last me four months. That's awesome. So totally worth it. That one was $9.95 and so I'm like, you know what, if that's going to last me, you know, four months, let's, let's go for it. Um, so that's with all my Lush products. The next beauty product I have is a perfume and I am absolutely in love with the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I feel like they have the greatest stuff and I have, oh my god, I'm, I had to smell it first that I haven't showed you guys. This is the Peach Sparkle. This is what it looks like. Seriously, the best smelling perfume I've ever smelled. It smells, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't even smell like peach. I don't know what it smells like, but this, this is what it looks like again. I'm just in love. I spray it all, I spray it all the time, but you guys can't tell because a little bit's gone. But um, I got this for seven. It was half off, so it was fourteen. Um, they have uh, lotion and body wash. I will be going to buy those. Um, next up, oh, I forgot one more Bath and Body Works product. My candle of the month. Now, last month was my pink sangria, which is being lit in the back. And it's almost out. It has like possibly like this much left, which for lasting a whole month is pretty good for how much I used it. And since Bath and Body Works is having their sale, all the candles are ten dollars. So I was super excited and I rushed right in. And I was smelling all of them and I was like, mm, not really my thing, you know. Then I came across this gem. And first off, I got this super cute tin. And this is what it looks like. This one was like two bucks. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, this is my pineapple mango candle. This smells like heaven. I must be on like a fruity type of kick right now. Hmm. It, it literally smells like pineapple mango. It's fabulous. And this is what the packaging looks like again. Just, you know, they're $10 candles, three wicks, you know. And it just smells fabulous and I'm so excited for that to burn out and for this to get burning and um, usually I don't want that ever to go out but now I do and I had bought um, like some smaller pink and green ones but I'm really really excited for that to be done with so I can switch up the smells in my room jewelry wise still my rose gold watch still my rose gold watch obsessed with it um, I'm really crossed fingers. I'm really, really hoping that um, I can save up enough money to buy the Michael Kors Rose Gold Watch that I've been wanting for so long. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. And then some more Rose Gold Watch is my Sweetheart BCBG Generation Bracelet. Um, and you know, you guys know that I got this um, a while ago. Uh, about a month ago, yeah, and I just literally wear it non-stop. I didn't have an arm party today, I just had, you know, my watch on. But, um, yeah, usually I'm wearing this and then my simple gold uh, bracelet all the time. Um, clothing. Clothing, I really haven't had many favorites. Um, I try and, like, switch everything up so I don't, like, always wear, like, the same, you know, thing every day, I guess you could say. But the first thing, are, I'm seriously, I, okay, I wanted a pair for so long, and I was like, you know, um, where can I find a cheap pair? I went to, like, I went to American Eagle, and they were, like, $34, and I went to Charlotte Bruce, and they were, like, third, I was just like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to find a pair? Went into the store in Dots, found a pair. Neon pink shorts. I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time, and they have some little stains on them because I'm an absolute pig when I eat. But I'm just like in love with these. Got these at Dots for sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars, you guys! Like these are so cute. There's stuff all over them. Oh my gosh! I have been living out of my suitcase for the past like two months. 
and I feel like anytime I throw something in my actual suitcase it gets so dirty. But yeah, 16 bucks. So cute. And they're really, really stretchy. And these I got, I got a size 13, which I'm not, definitely not a size 13. I'm like a size 10. And so, well, that was kind of shocking, but I'm like, you know what, every place is so different that, you know, you can't really. And my last item is my, my Hot Topic item. And this is my Cheetah Barbie shirt. Oh my god. So cute. Christopher saw this and was like, babe, that is so you. You, uh, oh my god. It's, it just had me written all over it. One, I love Barbie. And two, I love Cheetah. Hello. And this was in... This is a large, I'm pretty sure. Yep, a large. And uh, super, super cute. It kind of has the top like this and then the low back. And just really, really, really cute. Um, 22 I think, so it's a little bit more expensive. But, um... You know, I don't ever buy t-shirts like that expensive, you know, so totally cool. And that is it for my April 5th, you guys. Wow. <laughs>